Oh, right before the NBA play-in tournament tips off on Tuesday night and right after the WNBA draft happened tonight in New York. And, of course, Caitlin Clark goes number one overall to the Indiana Fever. I got a couple thoughts on Caitlin Clark, the WNBA, the WNBA draft, all right? Number one, pretty cool that Caitlin Clark is going to Indiana. She stays in the Midwest. She stays close to her home base, Iowa. She stays close to her fans. That whole region loves her, not just Iowa, but that entire Big Ten country, Midwest lifestyle civilization all fell in love with Caitlin Clark. So it's kind of cool that she's going to be staying in Indiana, staying in the Midwest. She's not heading to New York. She's not heading to Vegas or L.A. She's staying in the Midwest. I think that's a great fit. I think she will do very well there. Obviously, there's been all sorts of stories how the Indiana Fever have all these nationally televised games next year now. They also have made some accommodations to play in a bigger venue a lot of the time because of the Caitlin Clark experience, because of the Caitlin Clark effect. All right. So that is fantastic. I like that. That's number one. Here's number two. All the WNBA stars, they're all coming out and saying, hey, she's not going to be able to do that against us. Brianna Stewart, Diana Taurasi, you know, some of the greats in the WNBA. She's not going to be able to do that against us here. She's going to learn quickly that there's another level of basketball. They're just trashing her. They're beating her down. They're trying to make they're they're trying to make her a non-story. They're going to try to break her spirit as soon as she gets in. I don't know. I think the smarter move for the WNBA players would be to build this girl up. Do what women do. Do what women always talk about women doing. Women building women, right? None of this cat fighting stuff. I think the WNBA players should be praying that Caitlin Clark comes in and drops 40 every night, okay? Because that's the only way WNBA is going to get more popular. That's the only way that it's actually going to take some attention this summer. That's the only way it is going to get elevated to the next level. If this star, Caitlin Clark, can stay relevant in the WNBA, and everybody will get a piece of it. Everybody in the league will get a piece of fame if – Caitlin Clark is successful, and if she keeps that momentum going from college into the pros. We've seen a lot of good female basketball players in college. We've seen some stars. Ladies March Madness always gets a decent rating, okay? Obviously, this year's ratings was, were huge, but let's not act like women's March Madness doesn't always pull a number, a decent, solid number. There have been stars. Those UConn runs are awesome. All of those players that have come through, uh, Brianna Stewart comes to mind, Elena Della Don comes to mind, just to name a couple. I don't understand why they are trashing Caitlin Clark. If they ever want to make more money, if they ever want to become more popular, if they ever want to be on their own and not have to have money subsidized from the NBA to the WNBA, if they ever want to actually make it as a league, be something that somebody cares about, they need Caitlin Clark to be successful. They need Caitlin Clark to remain a star. They should be building each other up. They should be hoping Caitlin Clark is successful so that they later on, the next TV deal, when they see the numbers of Caitlin Clark, they see the numbers of the WNBA increases, they are going to get a piece of that check. And everybody's going to go from making 75 k a year to making 150 k a year, and then up to 300 k If this actually can take off, if these rookies, because there's a lot of popular rookies, Right, Angel Reese, another popular one. Cameron, uh, Cameron Brink, another popular one. If these rookies can actually elevate the sport, it's going to be good for all of the WNBA, not just Caitlin Clark. And I understand the whole. This is the big leagues now. You know, I totally get that. Oh, you dominated in college. Well, now you're playing against grown men, right? Grown women. Now you're in the next level and it's not going to be that easy. No, it's obviously going to be harder. That's why you're professional basketball players, but you should absolutely be rooting for her to go out and be fantastic from the jump.